So here's what our day trip from Tokyo to Mount Fuji looks like. We woke up at 5am to head to Shinjuku Expressway Bus Terminal. Nagbook na kami ng tickets sa highwaybus.com ahead of time dahil mabilis daw maubos ang tickets to Mount Fuji. Lagay niya lang dyan, Tokyo to Shizuoka. Fare was 2,100 yen per person for one way. Kung kaya niya magstay around Mount Fuji for a couple of days, do that instead. Hindi araw-araw nagpapakita ang Mount Fuji. So kung one day lang kayo pupunta tapos nagtago pa si Mount Fuji, sayang naman yung punta nyo. So karaniwang nagsistay yung ibang tourist dito talaga ng ilang araw para makachempo ng magandang view ng Mount Fuji. In our case, since punong-puno na talaga yung schedule namin, one day lang talaga yung kaya naming i-allot. So, todo pray na lang talaga kami na magpakita si Mount Fuji on the day that we visit. On our way there and even the night before, nakatutok na kami sa live stream ng Mount Fuji para makita yung status niya. Isa't kalating oras pala yung travel time from Tokyo. Maraming drop-off points but we got off at Shimoyoshida bus stop. And then nilakad na lang namin for 10 minutes papuntang Shimoyoshida Honshu street. Ito yung isa sa mga pinaksikat na photo spots dito. May mga bantay dito na local kasi yung ibang tourists talagang buwis buhay kung magpa-picture. But during this time, unfortunately, hindi pa sa amin nagpakita masyado si Mount Fuji. So we headed to our next stop, which was Chureto Pagoda. Nilakad lang namin to uli for 25 minutes. Nasa tuktok siya ng bundok, so kailangan nyo lang umakyat sa maraming stairs. May option na rin naman na dumaan sa slope, pero medyo matarik din siya. Pero dahil nga mataas yung view, ang ganda rin ang angle ng Mount Fuji. Maraming magandang photo spot sa tuktok. So, kung kaya pa ng tuhod nyo, pilitin nyo ng umakit sa pinakataas. Very nice ang shots kasi pwedeng kasama yung mga puno and yung pagoda. May coffee and ice cream shops rin sa taas. So, don't worry. Pwede kayong tumambay habang naghihintay na magpakita si Mount Fuji. Huwag nyo lang kalimutan magdala ng coat kasi kung malamig sa Tokyo by the time that you visit, mas malamig dito. From here, we headed to Oshino Hakai Village na part ng Mount Fuji UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Nag-train kami via Fuji Kyuko Line from Shimoyoshida Station to Mount Fuji Station and then we took a 20-minute bus to Oshino Hakai. Dito yung sikat na picture spot sa mga pond kung saan yung water galing daw sa nagmelt na snow from Mount Fuji. May street foods din dito so pwedeng dito na kayo mag-lunch. May souvenir shops na rin. Mura yung shine muscat dito kaya ito talaga yung hinord namin. Lasa siyang grapes na hindi ganun katamis. Tapos siglas siya. Our fourth stop was Mount Fuji Panoramic Ropeway para tsempohan yung sunset sa taas. So you can purchase your tickets via Cloak. Round trip ticket na yan, 334 pesos for adults, tapos 167 sa mga bata. Tinapos lang namin yung sunset and then we headed back to Kawaguchiko Station. Before getting on our 620 bus bound for Tokyo, lumaan kami saglit sa sikat na Lawson Kawaguchiko Station para matanaw ulit yung Mount Fuji. Unfortunately, hindi na siya nagpakita sa gabi and also as of June 2024, hinarangan na rin daw yung view na to kasi hindi na nila makontrol yung tourists. If there's something I wish I did in Mount Fuji, it's that sana nagstay ako ng at least 3 days para na mas na-appreciate ko siya and hindi masyadong rush yung itinerary namin. Also, sana nag-rent ako ng car. I had second thoughts driving in Japan kasi wala akong lakas ng loob isabak yung sarili ko sa long drive from Tokyo to Mount Fuji tapos right hand drive pa. I wish I spent some more time getting used to driving around Japan para mas nakatipid kami sa travel time kasi yun talaga yung kumain ng maraming oras. So if you're planning to come here as well and don't have much time, pwede rin naman kayo mag-book ng mga tours sa Cloak. Marami ng available tours dyan and you may use my discount codes Traveler Cloak and 5 Cloak para makatipid kayo ng konti. Just make sure na i-check nyo muna ang itinerary and yung schedule kasi magkakaiba din sila. If you need more tips para makapagplano ng trip nyo sa Japan, just click the link in our bio for more Japan videos. There you go! Enjoy Japan!